In an unprecedented display of faith and devotion, Prime Minister Modi was recently observed offering Dandavat Pranam to Ram Lala, following the Pran Pratishtha ceremony. This event, profound in its cultural and religious significance, has captured the attention of the nation and beyond. News of this event has been spreading like wildfire, highlighting the deep intertwining of politics and religion in the world's largest democracy. Prime Minister Modi, known for his public shows of faith, has once again made headlines with this heartfelt gesture. The ceremony of Pran Pratishtha is a sacred ritual in Hinduism, believed to invoke divine presence in a deity's idol. On this occasion, it was none other than Ram Lala, the infant form of Lord Rama, who was the recipient of the Prime Minister's devout reverence. Modi's Dandavat Pranam, a form of obeisance where one prostrates oneself fully on the ground, was a powerful symbol of his devotion. It's a gesture that resonates deeply within the Hindu community, signaling humility, respect and unwavering faith. This event marks a significant moment in the ongoing narrative of religion's role in Indian politics. Modi's public display of faith, while warmly received by many, also sparks debate about the intersection of personal belief and public duty. Yet, regardless of one's stance on the matter, the image of a nation's leader in humble prostration before a deity is undeniably powerful. It's a reminder of the deeply personal nature of faith, and the role it continues to play in shaping the world's political landscape. In summary, this event served as a potent symbol of India's unique blend of politics and religion. The sight of Prime Minister Modi offering Dandavat Pranam to Ram Lala after the Pran Pratishtha ceremony has left an indelible mark on the psyche of the nation. Whether viewed as a simple act of personal devotion or a strategic political move, its significance is undeniable. And so the dialogue continues about the place of religion in politics, about the role of leaders in setting cultural norms, and about the ways in which personal faith shapes public life. These conversations, sparked by events like this one, serve to remind us all of the complex and dynamic nature of our world.